Hey, welcome back to Diode Press, I'm Graham. So in the last video, we finished printing our full edition and you know, signing and numbering the prints. And we kept two of the prints aside, and that's what we're gonna use in this video. So we're gonna take these two prints and then I'm gonna use just a, a basic set of watercolors and we're gonna add some watercolor to them. And you can really do the same thing using like acrylic paint or if you wanna use color pencils or really anything. And once you have it printed on the paper, you can do whatever you want with it. So let's jump right into adding some watercolor. So to add watercolor to this print, there's a couple things to keep in mind. So I probably should have used a thicker paper if I was gonna you know, plan on doing watercolor because this is pretty thin. So it's probably gonna kind of buckle and ripple a little bit. But I think it'll be okay. Once it dries out, it'll probably flatten out a bit. And I don't do a whole lot with watercolor. So I always have this small set. I think this is Windsor and Newton. And it's just a small set of watercolors and then I just have a, a couple brushes. But you could even use a set like this, just a you know cheap watercolor set. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of foam core board. And I'm gonna tape down my print just on all four corners. So that way when I'm you know painting on it, if it starts to swell or you know contract, it's not gonna get too rippled. And then when it dries out, it'll also keep it keep it nice and flat. And this tape might damage the paper a little bit, so I'm just putting it right on the edge. So that way it won't do too much to the paper. All right, so now it's nice and flat against the, the foam core, so it shouldn't, shouldn't buckle too much. So I know I'm gonna do the background in this. I'm gonna do just a light wash of blue. So that's the first thing. And if you're using oil-based ink, it makes it pretty easy to, to do an area like this because the, the oil-based ink will kind of act as a bit of a barrier. So you don't have to worry about it really spreading out too much you know, beyond your, your borders. So I'm just gonna do a light wash of this blue. I wish I had a bigger brush on hand, but I don't right now, so it's okay. I'm just trying to stay along the, the wet edge so it kind of blends together nicely. And you can see the paper starting to buckle, but it'll flatten back out after it dries. I'm just trying to make sure I get all the, the white covered. I put a little bit too much water on the brush. I'll just take a little off and put on a paper towel. All right, almost done with this background. Then I'm gonna do one more thing to it. All right, and before this really starts to dry, I'm gonna take regular salt, just table salt. and put it on top of this blue. What it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of soak up some of the water and give it kind of a cool effect as it dries. So I'll let this layer dry and then after that we can go ahead and take all the salt off and then move on to the next layer. But while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other print. Since I have two of these, I'm gonna to try to make, you know, look as similar as I can. All right, so it's been a couple hours, I'll let the the paint completely dry and the salt just kind of rubs off now. So now I'll go through and just rub all the salt off of the watercolor. And what it does is it basically absorbs a tiny bit of the water as it's drying and kind of gives you a really cool texture to the, to the paint. All right, and I'll try to zoom in and you can see the, the finished texture. So it's almost like a, a bit of a pitted look. So you can really do as much as you want with a, you know, a watercolor on this. But I'm just kind of keeping it simple just to, to go through this. I don't want to add so many colors and layers that it kind of takes away from what I'm going for. So the other thing I'm going to do is just add some of this different shade of green. Just in some areas along the edges of these leaves. And I'm just adding a little bit just to, just to bring it up a little bit. So I already did the blend roll when I printed it. So I have, you know, basically a gradient from the light green to the dark green. So I'm just adding a little bit more variation in here. This might help just kind of break up the, the parts of the plant a little bit better. And even though there's oil-based oil ink on here, the watercolor seems to soak through enough, or at least dry on top of it. And you can print this print using just the black key block, you know, and no color or, you know, the second block or anything, and then do watercolor on the whole thing and just use the, 
the printmaking step is just a kind of a building block. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I was thinking about filling in the pot with a different color, but I think I'll leave it like this. I think I like how it looks. I don't wanna risk messing it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other one. So I have two that look the same. And then I'll come back and show you the final result. All right, so here's the first one. And then here I have the second one. And there's, you know, some slight variation between the watercolor on the two, but I mean, it's pretty hard to tell the difference. I tried to make sure I match the look and where I put the green on both pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and number them one of one, or one of two and two of two. All right, now I have a tiny little addition of these two prints. Then go ahead and just take off my tape and be all done. All right, so we have our two prints finished off and they're, they're drawing on the panel, you know, with the tape still on there. And once they're completely dry, I'll go ahead and take the tape off. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think I was gonna add some more watercolor to the pot or maybe in the, the sand area, but I think I decided to quit while I'm ahead because I'm really happy with how they look and I only have two to, to work with. So if I mess one up, I don't, you know, I don't wanna do that. So anyways, in the next video, we're gonna add some mixed media to a couple of the prints. So I'll see you then. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos, as well as other patron rewards. Thanks.